Hello everyone. Today I just received my helium compatible weather station from Weather XM. So this is the model number WS2000 weather station and this is the latest weather station that Weather XM has. So what we're going to do today is we're going to unbox it and set it up. And before we get started, I would like to ask you a big favor if you can help my channel grow by clicking on the subscribe button. And if you found the information in this video helpful to you, Please make sure to click the like and comment down below. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is everything that comes in the box. First, you have the station setup guide. Basically, this will just direct you to the website. Then you'll have the Helium Weather Station. And you can see right now, it has the Weather XM logo in it. And you have the solar panel right here. It says here, install the battery pack before removing this film. Okay, so here you'll have the pole mount and the mounting clamp. There are two metal brace right here that you can also use to secure your device. Here is the external battery box and you're going to have the screw, the hex nut, and the flat washer. Basically, there are four sets in here plus this little small screw for you to secure your uh, mounting pole in here. Okay, so there's like a little hole right there. What is not included here are the six AA battery. It does not come with the metal pole as well. In order for the weather station to give you an accurate information, they advise that you have a six and a half uh, foot pole or two meters. Basically, you want the weather station to be higher than any objects that is close to it. So that there's no other object that can affect the direction of the wind because so if you have this and let's say really close to a wall or to a roof then uh, you're not going to get a, an accurate information okay so to set this up what you'll need first is the six double a battery so this battery you have to provide yourself it does not come with a box and according to the website if you live in a cold weather you want to get a lithium battery but for me I'm just going to use this since this is what I have right now. And from where I live, I don't really have an extreme weather problem. So in order for us to put this here, if you see below, there is a lock right here. Basically, you just want to move that to the right and push the cover up. Okay. So now we're going to install all the batteries. There's six. And if you look over here, there is a rubber around this cover right here. So it makes this thing waterproof. And let's go ahead and put it back. See right here, there is a notch right here. So you just put this part here to that notch. And slide it down. And then lock it by putting this back to the left okay so that's the first step okay so to install the dummy battery if you look at this uh, battery right here one of the side will have a label that says outside so this is outside if you look over here this is empty so the outside is what you want to focus on because this thing is only going to work one way because if you look over here you have the connector here, but there's nothing here. And the same thing over here. So this is for the negative and this is for the positive. So to install this, you simply have to go positive to positive right there. And this negative to this negative right here. So just go like this. And guide the wire so that it's not kinked inside. And just close it like this and close it in okay so you have an option not to use this external battery you can always put the battery directly here but if you notice earlier this external battery comes with six so you can actually put six battery here and this one here you can only put three battery and i did measure the voltage on this this is outputting 4.5 volts instead of nine volts so I would assume what it does is it actually using the first three batteries 
and then when it runs out it probably switch to the other three basically with the external battery you won't need to replace the battery as much and right now you can see that the light is now blinking okay since we already installed the battery we can actually remove this cover right here open the solar panel and the next step will be to claim this station so in order to do that we need to go to our phone and we want to look for the weather xm app okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and open weather xm and i don't have an account yet so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up going to ask for your email address your first name and your last name so let me go ahead and do that so after you sign up it's going to send an email to you and all you have to do is activate your account and once you select activate account it's going to ask for your password and after that you can just go back to your weather xm app and sign in okay so after you sign in it tells you that you don't have a weather xm device yet all you have to do is click on add so this is the ws2000 so you want to claim it via bluetooth okay and you want to make sure that your bluetooth is on when you do that and then you since it took us a while to get to this part uh, you want to reset your uh, weather station so right now you don't see the light anymore and to reset the weather station all you need to do is uh, press this button right here okay so I'm just gonna go press that and now it's blinking okay and I'll go back here. I'll just say I will reset my device and just say only while using app. And it found this one right here. So I'll just click that and I'm just going to click pair and connect. And it detects your location. And all you need to do is click on I hereby acknowledge that the location above is correct. And then click claim and proceed. Okay, now it's going to ask you to set your station's frequency and since I am in the US it's going to be the US 915 that's going to be the that is the uh, frequency for helium and I'm just going to say I hereby acknowledge and set and claim. So now it's claiming the station and it says this process could take about two minutes due to the helium network's bandwidth limitation so we'll see how long it takes. Okay, so now the station is claimed. I can actually view my station now. And now you can see that my station is now showing the weather information. And what I'll do is I'll go to my settings right here and settings. And over here, you can change your temperature. And I would like it to be Fahrenheit and inches. And wind speed will be miles per hour wind direction is going to be cardinal and then you just have to go back and you can see now that it's showing the Fahrenheit and everything right now is kind of like zero zero because my weather station is still inside the house okay so after you claim your device your next step will be to add your wallet address so if you notice here it actually shows that my wallet address is missing if this thing does not show up for you what you can do is click on this uh, profile icon and then click on my wallet and here you need to enter your wallet address since weather xm is still in the beta period they wanted you to use metamask to join their testnet and in order for you to do that you need to uh, download and install metamask in your phone so i've already done that so let me go ahead and go back to my metamask account and of course it's going to ask for my uh, biometric login so once you download and install metamask the first thing you're going to do is create your first wallet and once you do that it's going to create a 12 word passphrase for you and you want to make sure that you write it down and keep it somewhere safe because that's the only way you can retrieve that wallet in case you lose your 
phone or you have to replace your phone or something uh, metamask is not gonna be able to help you to retrieve your wallet you're the only one that have that uh, security so that is what makes crypto secure okay so what I'm going to do since I already have my metamask wallet I'm just gonna copy my wallet address so just gonna click on this and say public address copy to clipboard I'm gonna go back to my Water XM account and I'm just gonna go hold this and paste and now you can see this is my public address kind of like your uh, email address that you can share to anybody okay so this is how you're going to get paid or get rewarded for sharing your weather information so i just place that thing there i'm going to click here i have read and accept the terms and i have acknowledged and i'm going to say save wallet address and then i'll say confirm and if you look over here you're going to see your rewards is still zero and that is because you haven't uh, joined the testnet yet and what you're going to do to join the testnet is you want to go back to your metamask wallet and I'm gonna log in again and here you're gonna want to join the polygon testnet and in order for you to do that you want to click right here on the top and you'll see right now i already have the polygon testnet because i have already um, entered this information but if you don't have that yet what you can do is click on add network okay and then click on custom network and here you're going to enter polygon testnet under the network name and under the rpc url you're going to enter https colon slash slash matic dash mumbai dot chainstacklabs.com the chain id you're going to put in eight zero 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 one and you want to enter matic under the symbol that is polygon matic and you want to enter https colon slash slash mumbai dot polygon scan dot com under the block explorer url if, after that you just have to click on add and once you do that you should be able to go back on your home screen and click right here and then go to your polygon testnet okay and after that you need to add the wxm token so that you can start seeing your rewards and to do that you want to click on import tokens and you want to enter the contract address that you can get from the um, wxm website i'm going to put that address in the description as well so so this is the token address and then i'm going to enter wxm for the token symbol and token decimal will remain 18 and all you need to do is just click on import now once you imported it you can see now that the wxm is now showing under my polygon testnet so if i go back to my ethereum mainnet main network i only have the eth and if i go back to my polygon testnet i'll get the matic and the wxm so that's how you join the testnet for the weather xm satellite station so what we're going to do next is we're going to just finish the assembly on this and if you look here you'll see that little spoon there this thing will measure the amount of rain that uh, goes down to the collector so this is the collector right here all you have to do is just put it in okay and then twist it so it will lock okay so now it's in there okay so your next will be to just put this into the hole okay so i just wanted to show you this for now i just uh, use the included hardware to put this weather station up but this is not the ideal setup for this weather station because according to weather xm in order for you to get the most accurate data the weather station should be six and a half feet higher than any obstacles around it so that you don't get any wind barriers you don't have any material that will be affecting the heat that the sensor is detecting and 
make sure that there is no shade at all so that it can give you the most accurate weather information and if you look over here you can see that there is a sign that says N that's actually your north so when you install this weather station you want to make sure that it is pointing to the true north if you don't have a compass you can always download an app for on your phone and let me show you my app right here so you can see here that I'm pointing to my north and I wanted to have my weather station to be pointing to the north and when you do that your solar panel is going to be on your south side so you just want to make sure that you adjust the angle of the solar panels so that it can charge the internal battery that is in the station because basically your battery pack is just a backup battery so that it gets the most sunlight during the day the main battery on this station is actually internal and that is powered by the solar panel and it's also being charged during the day and according to most users that battery lasts for at least four hours after the sun goes down okay so i just wanted to share this with you so this is after one day of having this weather station just inside my house i was able to collect a 10.3 wxm token and according to weather xm once you start giving reliable data, you should be able to get more rewards. If weather permits on Sunday, what I'll do is I'll get out and install this into its permanent location. Okay, so let's check my MetaMask wallet. And right now you can see my MetaMask wallet. It's also showing the 10.3 WXM token. So I hope that you found this video helpful to you. Please make sure to click the like and the subscribe button to help my channel. And thank you for watching.